Mr. Mayor, welcome to the bridge, and let me start just right in. So congratulations on your 10th year as the mayor of Modern. Yes. I cannot even imagine doing a job for over 10 years. I know it's strange for the first question, but I'm just super curious, why do Modern people like you so much? So at the same time, how do you like this job? Well, you must have talked to my mother and father, <laughs> so that's apparent. But uh, I don't really think about, you know, who likes me and who doesn't. I just try to work as hard as I can for the people of Malden. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to do since high school. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to do it and live out my childhood dream is just something that I appreciate each and every day. So you start your dream from high school? Yes. Well, I, uh, high school? It okay. was around my sophomore, end of my sophomore, beginning of my junior year that I knew I wanted to be mayor one be day. Mayor. Yeah, and so that's why I tell the students as much as I can, life is not so much about assets and money and stock. I mean, that helps. Mm -hmm. But it's really about achieving one's dream is what it's all about from what I've experienced. Uh, I've always wanted to serve my hometown. I mean, having grown up here and being provided with all the tools that I needed to succeed, this was my way of trying to give back and, and honor all that's been given to me. So that's why I've always wanted to stay here in my hometown. Congratulations Thank for you. achieving your dream. Thank you. And talking about your mayor's image, I cannot hesitate to say you were very famous online three years ago. So do you still remember your photo that once caused a sensation on social media? Oh, how could I forget? <laughs> when I became mayor, I was hoping to be known yeah. someday for this person who came up with a great yeah. budget proposal like or a great <laughs> policy. And yeah. 10 years later, this is what I'm known for. Yeah. So um, in all sincerity, whatever it takes to help promote Malden and, and make our city a better place for us all. So that's something that I do on a regular basis. Yeah, is this photo taken by your staff member of your team? Yes, I was with someone. Yeah, it's not I, as a movie star. No, nah, I don't know. I need to talk to you every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's something that I do on a regular basis. Uh -huh. And I forget what reason it was, but he happened to take a quick uh, picture from his phone. And then, like you said, lo and behold, it caught on and... You know, hopefully the goal behind this, which again is something that I do all the time, mm -hmm. is hopefully someone sees that mm -hmm. and then they think the next time they're going to, you know, litter yeah. and not do it. Because the one thing that we don't really uh, fully appreciate is that anything that is littered ends up in our river. And so we have a lot of people sure. that are working to improve the river and I think we owe it to them to do our part. So that's why I do it as much as I yeah, can. Do you mind me reading this news? Go right ahead. This is Gary Christensen, mayor of modern Massachusetts. He mostly walks to all his appointments and picks, uh, picks up trash every day as he goes. At least one small bag full per day. He has been in office over 3,000 days, so I'm pretty sure this qualifies as a trash tag. So <laughs> <laughs> this, well, this content written by your, is it the modern people or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I'm not on Reddit, so I'm not entirely sure. I mean, yeah. I have a hard enough time with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Yeah, that's famous. So, uh, but that, again, that's something that I do all the time. Even before I came to see you today, mm -hmm. I walked to work with a little bag and picked Whoa. up as much as I could. Actually, you made the Reddit front page with like 114,000 points for this m news. I think that's like uh, in Massachusetts, you're the only one who did that like a uh, great social media image for like city mayor. And also, I think you have already answered my question. Are you still working to work and picking up trash every day? Yep. You do, yeah. Just <laughs> okay. did it this morning. Talking about social media, I watched your recently published the 50 minute a promotional video called Mayor Christensen's 2022 State of the City Address. Yep. The video covers almost all the main departments of the city hall and the main topic these days such as vaccines, housing agreements, drug overdoses. Is this a public report from the mayor's office? Yes, it is something that we do on an annual basis, mm -hmm. always around the same time, which is February. Mm -hmm. And we also partner with our local chamber of commerce and they use it to raise funds, which they then donate to charity. So uh, the thing that we try to do every year is come up with a different theme, as you can tell. So this year we looked back and saw that a lot of people were at home and mm -hmm. there was a lot of um, channel surfing. Mm -hmm. Most ended up on Netflix. So that's how we came up with the theme for this year. Yeah, rather than talking about it as a report, I think it's exactly. more like, like a documentary for 
the whole year's progress of all the departments. Yeah, we program. have found over time that people really like uh, video mm -hmm, and yeah. pictures and images. That tells the story these days, and so that's why we do it in the format that you've seen. Yeah, so what inspires you to do such a specific long administrative report every year for that? Again, I think it's, you know, living out my childhood dream. I'm just so proud to be a part of this community that I want to go above and beyond mm -hmm. in everything that we do here in Malden. So that's why we, you know, pay particular attention to the state of the city address because a lot of times people don't see what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but that one moment they do. And so that's why we try to put a lot of time into it. Because as my perspective to see that uh, public report, I think that's very professional work. For us, it's yeah. actually pretty natural and easy because we spend most of our time outside anyway. Mm -hmm. We're at a lot of community events and forums and discussions. And so we just yeah. collect all the uh, images from there and then yeah. keep track of it and put it into uh, an easy to watch format each yeah. year. And I noticed a tag named uh, Netflix? Yes. What's so, that mean? <laughs> I know. A lot of people have asked that. Uh, Netflix is Malden reversed. Oh. So if you take Malden in, in reverse order, uh -huh. uh, Malden, D-E-N, we reverse it to N-E-D uh -huh. in place of Netflix. So we just try to come with a spin-off. <laughs> yeah. So last year, the, the presentation was done in Zoom Oh. because that was what the yeah, topic know. was last year. And then the year before that, it was a different format. So we always change the formats up each year. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's kind of like an uh, annual surprise for the modern exactly. people. Exactly, yep. Yeah, because we always want to keep it fresh yeah. and different and, and keep people interested. Yeah, it's a friend's joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. everybody uh, actually each year asks what will be the theme. I will so, ask next yeah. year for your new tag. <laughs> All right, we'd love to have you in person. We do it yeah. typically uh, across the street at Anthony's, uh, but the last two years we've done it uh, via uh, video format. But we hope to be back in person next year. Yeah, and actually last year you did one thing that I think no one disagreed with. You brought the first Starbucks to Modern. Yes. Yeah, Modern was a 100% Dunkin' Donald town. How did, how did you do that? Hard work and dedication. For years, we have been trying to bring them to our community for years, and we just could not find the right timing, the right location. Uh, but finally, after our persistence, especially our business development officer, Kevin Duffy, they agreed to come. Yeah, I saw it when I came here. It's on the Exchange Street, right? Yes. It looks very modern. It's more like, I think, very suitable for the city hall, you know, like the, all the colors and all the glasses, it looks very modern. Yeah, and I think that is what finally drew Starbucks here, is everything that's taken place outside of yeah. City Hall. And so that was something we thought of several years ago, that if we can sort of create this environment, then the uh, businesses will follow. Yeah. And I'm happy to say, I think there's only one retail spot left available. The other uh, seven or eight are, are occupied now. Do you have any new uh, steps for like new brands to come here? Uh, right now, we just announced that we have Rock Spot Climbing that's moving in. Oh. They'll be across the street from Starbucks, uh, just below us. Same we'll, position. Yeah. <laughs> you always put new brands here. Yes, yes. Uh, we did something with that. But we have a couple of more surprises coming. So Looking forward to that, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, and again, it, it's an effort to try to appeal to people, not only in our city, but outside our city, who are thinking about investing yeah. here in Modern. I once saw Dunkin' Donuts sponsor Modern. Yeah. <laughs> because there are only one for like drinking and bread and bagels. Yep. Yeah. So now they're kind of competing with each other. Yes. And that's a good thing. I mean, we're a city now of roughly 65,000 people. So I've always yeah. felt there's plenty to go around. So uh, yesterday I was at Starbucks. Today I was at the Bikini Cafe on Summer Street. So there's plenty to go around. And he, all the places were busy. That's because we've known for a long time that people wanted to have that yeah, business here. Yeah. And so when we finally got it after 10 years, we thought yeah. we should really do That's something special. A great strategy for commercial and also for the, all the people here in Modern. Yeah, and they've hired a bunch of uh, local residents, so that's good too. And so, um, yeah, we're happy to have them. Being the mayor of Modern for over 10 years, I believe that you must have achieved countless goals that you have promised to your constituents. So do you have new objectives that may take up your time in the near future? 
Good question. Uh, in our State of the City address, which you can people can watch on YouTube if they just type in City of Malden 2022 State of the City address, the big three are we're working to uh, obtain the former Malden District Courthouse from the state mm -hmm. and make that a arts and culture center where we can see exhibits and shows and black box theater. So that's number one. Number two is right behind you, the Malden Center train station. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working to make some improvements there. Mm -hmm. And then number three is just down the street where our public works department is. We're hoping to uh, upgrade that and add a climate resilient park behind it. Great. So those are the big three we're working on next. Is now that City Hall is finished. Small five? Or <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the big three. Yeah, that's the next big three. Uh, you know, the previous it was this, you mm -hmm. know, trying to get City Hall built and a new police station down the street. and But uh, we're now turning our attention to those three sites. You delivered great remarks at Modern High School this year. You're the current chairperson of Modern Public Schools. What's your vision for Modern Public Education, your current chair? I know that you are a student from Modern High School, so do you have any vision for the education? Yeah, it, it's the vision that I experienced when I was a student at in the Modern Public Schools, mm -hmm. and that is to give our students every possibility to achieve their dreams. And so what we try to do on the school committee is you know, provide the resources to do that. And that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one thing that has been difficult throughout my time as mayor is never having enough to do all it is you want to do. But we keep trying. And based on the students I've met over my time as mayor, mm -hmm. uh, I think they're doing just as well as I did back when I was in high school. What do you mean by the resource? You mean the my, uh, Funding. Ah, funding. Yeah, funding to do all that we want to do. Yeah. I mean, it seems there is never enough, you know, for all of the challenges we face. Yeah. But uh, I feel like we're doing all we can with what we have. We have a pretty sharp finance team, and you know, I feel like we're we're in a good position. But we could always do more. Yeah, and private education is always a competitor for public education. Yep, and I take that. Uh, you I take, take that, that as a challenge. Yeah, because I went through the mall to public schools, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm certain I would not be where I am. But I do know. There are some students who attend our district and don't do well, but attend another you know, form mm -hmm. of uh, schooling and do well. So I've never been adverse to having different options, uh, but I spend all of my time on my number one option, which is the public school district. Great. <laughs> So since 2020, Modern has made improvements on Chinese language voting rights, such as Chinese translation of all election materials and information, and bilingual staff members, even trilingual staff members. So it seems like speaking Chinese is an important advantage for the Modern government. So what do you think of this trend? You know, we are a bilingual channel for in the YouTube. So do you have any ideas for that trend? Well, let me just say we're awfully proud uh, to be able to be designated as one of the cities in Massachusetts mm -hmm. to be ahead of the curve when it comes to that. As a matter of fact, right now, we have a uh, bill pending on Beacon Hill mm -hmm. to translate the names of candidates uh, yeah, to yeah. Chinese as well. So we're hoping to have that in place uh, this election, if not this election, then the next one. And uh, that's a result of working with some great community groups here, the Chinese Culture Connection, uh, the Greater Malden Asian American Community Coalition, and we also work with some organizations outside of Malden mm -hmm. as well to, to do all that we can. Uh, I myself right now am taking uh, Mandarin on uh, Sunday afternoons. What so, level are you in? The level one, yeah. I could say uh, <laughs> level one. Zhao, Zhao Shanghao, Wu Shu Malden, Xu Zhong, Gary Christensen, and Ni Ma. That's not level one. <laughs> That's kind of like level eight. Han Hao, Han Hao. <laughs> Han Hao, yeah. <laughs> so, um, and it's just an effort to try to communicate better with our, our fantastic Asian American population here in Malden. Yeah, learning Chinese is like a, your professional use or just your hobby. Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed it. And again, it's an effort to try to appreciate and relate as, as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Are you going to like, communicate with any Chinese brands? <laughs> Because you are learning Chinese this day. I've, I've used it at different events. Uh, I think when I met with a group of seniors recently, I blurted out, uh, <laughs> wa, wa I Neiman, I love you all. Um, and, I also, and, I, and I also said, uh, uh, Shi Wan Bu Yao Xia Xia, 
I heard no that more in snow. your Chinese yeah. Spring Festival greeting <laughs> video. Yeah, so, you know, and um, yeah, it's just an effort to try to, you know, let our Asian American population know that you know, I really do appreciate them choosing Malden to live, work, and, and worship. I can see you like deliver a Chinese speech in the future. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. That is the goal. Like a graduation of yeah. your Chinese classes. <laughs> the only difficult part is I have to make sure I understand the difference between Cantonese and uh, Mandarin because one time I had done my remarks in uh, Mandarin and I delivered them from what they told me perfectly. There was only one problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody in attendance only spoke Cantonese. Oh. So. <laughs>
So the second floor is where the treasurer's office is, the city clerk's yeah. office, uh, the budget office. They sit close, they sit very close. Yes. Very yeah. clean and fresh. Yeah, good to hear. So this is the treasurer's department. Mm -hmm. So this is where you would pay bills, uh, obtain you know, fundings. Exactly, <laughs> yep. And then over here is the city clerk's office. Uh -huh. So this is where people would get married, uh, register to vote, obtain their dog license. But you can see very spacious and inviting. Yeah, you know, I so that was the smell idea. money. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here is the assessor's office. Uh -huh. So they do all the valuations of properties. And then to the left is the veteran services department. And that's, uh, that's the second floor. Wow. Yep. So, veterans. Then, oh, you are the descendant of veterans, I think. Yes, my dad was uh, Navy. As a son of veteran, do you think like that's a great honor or? For sure. I mean, it's the foundation of who we are, and that's why we try to do everything we can to support them. I mean, look, right now our commissioner's yeah. in here on a Friday working to try to provide benefits uh, to them. They deserve that. Yeah. This is where we do uh, summer concerts, you know, summer festivals. It, we wanted to come up with a, a, a space that the community could come and mm -hmm. be together. You mean concerts? Yep. Any DJ will come here? To no, no, we, we schedule them. So uh, we, we do a lot for our senior citizens, so we'll bring a lot of uh, 50, 60s. Just down the 70s. city hall. Yes. <laughs> That's a yes. great position. Yeah. yeah. We've done benefits out here, you know, so we did one out here to, to help Haiti. Uh, because they had another earthquake, you know, in the past year, so we did a benefit. Building's very spacious, yeah, but inviting and appealing. That was the idea, because our old city hall, which you may not have seen, was it was old and dark. We wanted to change that with this building. Yeah, I saw the colors of red, yellow, all the bright all colors, brick, not yeah. just the, like you know bricks color. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I think uh, people here will have a great emotion when daily work. <laughs> especially from where we come. I mean, uh -huh. the other building was in really bad shape. I mean, it was, uh, it needed a new roof. It needed a lot of work. And, uh, you know, but this building, we made sure to build it in a way that will last, you know, for the next 50 years or so. Are you allowed to say the, the specific funding for the building? <laughs> yes. Uh, it was oh, roughly, yes. well, the thing about, how we were able to finance this. We got a new city hall and a new police station mm -hmm. for roughly a third of the overall cost. Mm -hmm. And the way we were able to do that, uh, we got a grant from the state and we sold the old city hall. Oh. And that combined, you know, picked up two thirds of the cost to build this. Great. So it worked out really well. So people like that? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because it's still the older one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. The so employee who sent me up here is uh, the one who do the administration. Exactly, thing. yep. Yeah, so they're in here today prepping the building for next week. Mm -hmm. So that's the advantage of having one of the other advantages of a four-day work week. They now can spend Friday, mm -hmm. you know, unimpeded to get the building ready for next week. My questions are all done, and as a tradition for our program, you can speak to the camera here and send a video message to your people. So you can talk about anything you think is important for people to know. Right there? Yes, like a video letter for the modern people, anything you want to say. Sure. Uh, again, I'm Gary Christensen, Mayor of the City of Malden, or as I'm often referred to as Shi Jung, and I just wanted to say thank you to you all for making Malden the place you call home. I am certain that we would not be where we are without all of you. So, wa ai nimen. Sisi.